My name is Manisha Bahal, and I am a radiologist specializing in breast imaging at the Massachusetts General Hospital and Harvard Medical School. My research focuses on ductal carcinoma in situ, or DCIS, which is also known as non-invasive breast cancer or stage zero breast cancer. More than 50,000 women are diagnosed with DCIS in the United States every year. Current guidelines recommend that all DCIS be treated with some combination of surgery, radiation, and endocrine therapy. However, growing concerns regarding overtreatment of this type of breast cancer have led to active surveillance trials, such as the COMET trial, in which surgery and radiation are avoided and imaging is used to monitor disease. Critical to the success of these active surveillance programs is careful selection of eligible patients, those with low-risk, indolent disease. The purpose of my research is to develop and implement an AI model to inform eligibility for the ongoing active surveillance trials. The model will preoperatively identify which women with DCIS likely have invasive cancer concurrently. Specifically, a high risk score generated by the model would indicate that a patient is likely to benefit from surgery and radiation rather than active surveillance. What's unique about our model is that it will combine clinical data, imaging data, and pathology data using cutting edge AI, machine learning, and deep learning techniques. This work is in progress and is being done in collaboration with experts in AI from MIT and experts in radiology, surgery, and pathology from Mass General and Harvard. Through a 2017 AGFA Healthcare RSNA Research Scholar Grant, my team and I generated the preliminary data that led to subsequent funding from the National Institutes of Health. I'm grateful to the r &E Foundation for their generous support, which has been critical to the success of our research. Our multidisciplinary team's findings will advance our understanding of DCIS and support more targeted and precise treatment options for our patients. I believe that the model we're developing will empower women with DCIS to make more informed choices with regard to their treatment options. In the future, I hope to continue leading collaborative research efforts in order to investigate and apply AI techniques to other critical areas in breast cancer detection, diagnosis, and treatment. Thank you.